guys, what's up? Chris the Asian here. Um, I decided to do a video on uh, how to change your RAM settings in BIOS. Let's say, you know, standard is DDR2-800. Excuse me for moving so much. DDR2-800, but then you bought DDR2-1066 RAM. Um, what you can do is, this is called the post screen. And what you do is, you hit delete. You hit delete to enter BIOS. And you like if it's fast I, I pause breaked it but when you first start the computer hit delete a few times then it should take you to this screen which is the BIOS and what you do is every motherboard's different but I'm working with the 680i motherboard so you'll find something similar to advanced chipset find the FSB and memory config which is the front side bus and memory config and normally the memory clock mode it would be linked but since you're going to change the RAM, I would suggest doing unlink. So you select that, hit enter, and uh, down here, you'll see the uh, front side bus for the you know CPU, and then you got the front side bus for the uh, memory. Not front side bus, the uh, megahertz for the memory. So you just go down, hit enter. Normally that would be 800, but see, if you have 1066 RAM, just type in 1066, hit enter, it'll change to 1066. And sometimes if you do that, you gotta go to your memory timing settings. It's like I have OCZ RAM DDR2 1066, so what I did was manually adjust it. So you gotta look according to your memory stick, most of them DDR2 1066 would be 55515. So this is the latency, the memory timing. So if you don't know where this goes, just refer to your uh, manual website or email the company that you get the memory from, so you know where to put this properly. If you, it's not really hard. Just you just match up the, let's say, the five is for the TCL or CAS, or you, let's see the TRAS is the 15 one. So you just basically match it up. You can't go wrong. And another thing you might need to do is um, find the system voltage and the memory right here your memory the RAM random access memory um, you gotta adjust it like for mine it's 2.2 but when I have it on auto it um, it, t it leaves at one point I think 1.1 no 1.8 that's what it was and so you, I mainly adjust it here if you go don't go too high of a voltage if you do you can screw up your RAM so 2.2 is standard that for my OCZ RAM so you might have to adjust that too so once you've done all that just hit escape or you can hit F10 to save it but I'll go step by step with you hit escape hit escape then go over go to where it says save and exit setup hit that save to CMOS you hit yes then your post screen will come up you hear a beep there we go and here we go and as you can tell if you have a post screen it'll show right here your uh, memory clock it's 10 I had 1066 but it might be plus or minus you know a couple of Hertz but it's no big deal to me so you'll see if that said 800 and now it says 1043 it's correct and it'll show your timing right here too 55515 2T timing 128 bit if it's 64 bit that means that you're only running single channel RAM but if you have a, a dual channel RAM it'll say 128 bit what does that mean uh, things operate faster double time um, hopefully this video has helped and uh, enjoy